Good morning, brothers. It's Craig James here. Give me a follow on Twitter at Masculine Design. Watching this on YouTube, hit that like, subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you can be notified as I produce new videos. Today's video is on the topic of leadership, specifically a man's responsibility toward leading in the home and what that looks like. As I preach the message that men need to be the head of the household, which is a biblical principle. It is not just one that I have made up and that I am preaching to men, but it is one that is from the Creator Himself. It is also one that, like anything that comes from the Creator, aligns with reality. It is of a man and woman and their children's benefit for him to lead the home. Now, where I see a lot of men becoming confused is when I start talking about man needs to lead, man needs to be in charge. This image of this domineering man who has control over everything and has his hand in everything and who is uh, the one who has to do all of the work in the home and make sure all the things that need to get done are getting done. And that's not necessarily the case. It is not the case. That is not the way a leader should go about his business. And any of you who have jobs or who run businesses, you should know this very well. You know, managing the home is very similar to how a leader manages himself in a place of business. And what I see men getting confused by is this aspect of delegation. You know, in the home, you are ultimately responsible, but those who you delegate different tasks to in terms of managing the home, they are uh, accountable. So you're responsible, but they are accountable. But they can't be accountable unless you are taking leadership and setting proper expectations. So if it comes to finance, you're responsible. You don't get to point the finger at your wife and say, well, she manages a checkbook, so when we're broke or we're $10,000 in debt, you know, that's her problem. That's her fault. No, you bear the blame for that. She is accountable for making sure the checkbook is getting balanced, that she's bringing things to your attention as problems arise. Uh, but you are all you are ultimately responsible, so you need to be making sure you're doing regular regular audits of your finances, making sure you understand the direction that your finances are going, and that it's in alignment with the expectations that you have set and agreed upon with your wife. It comes to chores around the home. You know, if your children have chores that they need to be doing around the home to make sure that it is managed, tidy, it's neat. That's not your responsibility to do those chores. It is theirs. That's why you've delegated that to them. They are accountable for getting that done. So you need to set those expectations, make sure that the expectations are clear as to what needs to be done, and then hold them accountable. And when it comes to your children, there has to be clear uh, discipline applied whenever those boundaries are crossed. Otherwise, there is no boundary. If you set a boundary in place with your subordinates at work or with your children, you know, when those boundaries are crossed, if you do nothing about it, if there is no disciplinary action that follows and follows closely behind it, that isn't a boundary. It's just a desire. It's something that you've said, well, I really, I want you to do this, but if you don't, it's okay. I mean, that, that's the message you're communicating. Uh, so don't get this notion in your head, men, that leading the home means you have to do everything. It doesn't mean you're domineering. You, as a leader, need to be making sure that those who are underneath your leadership are willingly following you. And that is not something that's easy to do. That's something that takes a lot of effort, a lot of intentionality, and you becoming a man who is going places that your wife and your children want to follow, and doing things that your wife and children find value in, and helping them to find ways that they can join you in that mission. When you do that, that's when you have a well-managed home. That's when you have a, a home that runs well, that goes in the direction that you want it to go because everybody is willingly following the lead, knowing that there is value and benefit for them doing so. Same thing in the place of business. If you are a manager of a team, <coughs> a team of individuals, you can demand compliance to whatever vision you've set for them and for your division or your company, but that's only going to go so far. It's not going to be nearly as effective as if you can help them to understand why you're taking them in that direction, what benefit and value it has for them, and get their willing and uh, also just enthusiastic buy-in to what you're doing, to where you're going. And that way they will be 
bought into the mission and they will be moving in that direction wholeheartedly and it will make your job a lot easier as a leader as they will be doing the things that they need to be doing. They won't be crossing those boundaries and they will be living up to the expectations that you've set for them. So in the home men, you lead. It is your job to make sure that all of the aspects of what it is to, to manage and lead a home are being followed, they're being done well. But you also need to be delegating. Give your wife, give your children a hand in those tasks. Get their buy-in. You know, this isn't uh, a, a type of scenario where I'm the man, you do what I say. This is the type of scenario where I'm the man, this is the direction that I think we need to head. You gather some consultation, gather some inputs from those who are going to be under your leadership in that direction. Get their buy-in, take some of their inputs, put them to use. You know, they're going to have some good ideas. There are many times that I have uh, something that I want to do with the family and my wife will bring something up that I hadn't thought of. She'll see something from a different angle and that makes that mission or that direction we're going that much more valuable or it eliminates some risk that didn't need to be there. Take those inputs, delegate, and understand that you are ultimately responsible but others are also accountable. So that is what it means to lead the home as a man. Uh, there was Again, I've seen some confusion on that as I've been talking about this in a more ambiguous manner that man needs to lead the home and that that is what is the, is the best scenario for uh, him, for his wife, for his children, for the family as a whole and also for society. And so I hope that that clears, uh, clears up the matter. So that's all I have for you today, men. Thank you for watching. Thank you in advance for sharing the message. Again, give this video a like, hit the subscribe and, and the uh, bell ringer notification button. Uh, give me a follow on Twitter at Masculine Design. And if you'd like to join a group of men who are all driving to be the best leaders they can be and striving for excellence as they have determined uh, what that means in their life as men. You want to check out what I am doing inside of the Fraternity of Excellence at fraternityofexcellence.com. Until next time, this is Craig James. I am out.